Yo, so breaking news. We got our man back, y'all. Obviously, the headline in this video is Amari Cooper resigns with the Cowboys. Five years, 100 M's. Free agency was getting crazy. Like, it's, there's no other way to think, tangle, twist it. Free agency was getting crazy, especially because you didn't... I, I have no idea what's going on with that. I'll be honest. I don't know why it hasn't gotten done. I don't know if he thinks he's better than what he is. I don't know if they are... Um, apart on a on a number, you know, light years apart. I don't know if they're close. I don't know if it's language. I don't know what it is. But you couldn't lose this player. Um, now, I was going to wait to do a video because um, obviously I have a lot going on. I have a child on the way. Like, it's really crazy like that. Uh, and oh, by the way, guys, thank you to everybody who is congratulating me. Like, that really means the world to me. The fact that y'all been like following my journey is 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 love. Like we we growing together. Shoot, y'all gonna see my little son up here. We doing videos with y'all, but um, Amari Cooper, Dak Prescott. You wanted Dak to get done, but you'll live with the franchise tag because you know you still have till July to get done. So there's no need to panic. Um, that being said. This Amari Cooper deal, okay, you lost Byron Jones, which is huge. Um, I think for what it's worth, you know, that's a, that's a sneaky loss. And I think Dallas said, with with them really liking Amari Cooper, you gave up a one for him two years ago. They said, we can't lose this guy. Got to get it done. Got to be proactive. And I think that they dug in and said, Amari Cooper, we want you, and, and and let's not underestimate the fact that him and Michael Gallup being able to grow together, you know, with the Dak, with the Mike McCarthy, um, is 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 special. Now, what is what does this mean for Dak Prescott? Well, you know, the franchise tag. Hey, if he goes to a Super Bowl this year, or if he, you know, gets on a run, and hey, I'm pretty sure Dallas won't have a problem you know, breaking the back. But if, you know, for some odd reason, production falls, you know, the team is still kind of in place. And, and what I kind of wanted to do was look at this from, look at this, how does this really affect the draft? Uh, tackle out, got two bookend tackles offensively. Tight end, you're not going to go, I'm in this first round pick wise, tight end, you're not going to go tight end one. Now, that you signed Amari Cooper, you're not going to go receiver one. Um, as much as I would want to, you're not. Losing Byron Jones, however, you're probably going to re-sign Anthony Brown. There's still a lot of um, chips to fall. There's still a lot of dominoes to fall. So you're probably going to re-sign Anthony Brown. You could live with Anthony Brown starting week one on the outside, but do you really? Now, at 17, you will have the best corner available um, not named Jeff Okuda. So if that's Fulton, if that's, and this isn't a draft video, but if that's Fulton, if that's, you know, whoever, you know, you like, CJ Henderson, from my, you know, my, my opinion is, is, is really, really is a good player. And I'm gonna dig in on some more of his film, but, um, you know, that DB position, and I'll be honest, not to turn this to draft, but let's, let's do it. Let's talk draft, y'all. Let's talk football. Hell, it ain't nothing on Shoot, this, listen, this turned up, um, this, this turned up sports. Wasn't, uh, without free agency, sports was in the dumps. I was re-watching full games. I wasn't even watching, you know, player cut-ups. I was watching full games because it wasn't nothing on. Um, I went back and re-watched LSU and Florida. And I now watch LSU and Auburn. I know we need a corner, y'all. But Grant Delpit is really good at football. Like, he is, he is, I I just pray that Dallas does not pass on him. Um, you know, the D linemen outside of the top 10, depending on who falls, don't really jump off the screen. Like, I'm not going to draft a Marlon Davidson at 17. He just doesn't jump off the screen. And if it's not K. LeVon Chase on, K. LeVon does jump off the screen. But Grant Delpit is really good. Like, I just want to, I really want people to understand, don't listen to draft Twitter when it comes to this whole Grant Delpit had an off year. No, he didn't. He he was he was slightly injured. He missed a few tackles, but he also made some really good plays. He didn't have the picks 
of his sophomore year, but Grant Delpit is so good. Him on that back end being a, you know, a center fielder is exactly what Dallas needs. You know, you want to get more interception, you want to do this. He's exactly what Dallas needs. Um, and then, you know, kind of thinking draft wise, what this means, and I, and I have a I have a post draft um, mock draft that I'm that I'm kind of putting together, kind of seeing the chips fall. You know, now that you got Coop done, I'm almost willing to book the two picks, the two first picks, one and two. I, they may even double down on DB. Um, corner safety, safety corner, whatever you think of the players that are there. Um, the good thing is with these tackles being pushed up, and I've said this on Vach's live stream, shout out to Vach Lombardi, my guy. Um, I've said this on his live stream. I've said this a bunch of different places that the good thing is with these tackles and quarterbacks getting pushed up because you know, looking at free agency, really there's been no quarterback chips to fall with these tackles and um, uh, corner uh, quarterbacks being pushed up in the draft and ooh, good players are going to fall and it's just going to trickle down. So what does that all mean? Um, what it means is Cowboys still in win now mode. Um, if they weren't, possibly would have let Amari Cooper walk or, you know, not really pushed as hard and try to go a different route, maybe go build through the draft with a receiver um, of the future and then let Gallup be that true one. But it tells me this is still Amari's team. He's still the number one option, and I'm not mad at that. I told you guys Amari Cooper was a great option for the Cowboys, and damn it, he is. Uh, need to get Dak done. I think they will get Dak done, but right now I, I, I'm I very excited that, that excuse me, Amari Cooper, who has been a good pro. The only time he really pissed me off in Dallas was the Jets game where you're just like, why is he not playing? But, you know, the Cowboys had enough talent. <sighs> why did they lose that game? Why did the Cowboys lose that game, y'all? Like, you can't lose to the Jets. Anyway, just even thinking about it, I get upset sometimes. But nonetheless, um, Amari Cooper will be a Cowboy for a long time. How does this affect the draft? How does this affect other moves? Um, you guys chime in. Let me know what you think. Um, hey, a lot more chips to fall. What are we going to do with Robert Quinn? Um, what little pieces? Hey, could a Chris Harris be an option? What are you guys thinking? It's your boy Foots as always. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you guys. Be safe out there. Wash your hands. It's a shame that we're on quarantine for, you know, basic stuff. It's going to suck to see Byron Jones go um, a constant professional. That's the one thing I will give Byron Jones. He was very professional, you know, a great teammate, never injured, you know, really cared about the game, really loved the game. I remember seeing him at a training camp, and he was just, he was a professional, man. He used to bring out his, his ladders before every practice and do his ladder drills. You could see that military in him was instilled. So Miami's really getting the good piece. Hey, Miami bringing in Shaq Lawson, Kyle Van Noy, Byron Jones. They building something special over there. It's your boy Foots as always. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Peace.